नमः शिवाय स्टूडेंट्स इन टुडेज इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच व्हाट इज डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच डायरेक्ट स्पीच मींस रिपोर्टिंग द मैसेज ऑफ द स्पीकर इन द एग्जैक्ट वर्ड्स एज स्पोकन बाय हिम फॉर एग्जांपल माया सेड आई एम बिजी नाउ नो व्हाट इज इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच इट मींस रिपोर्टिंग द मैसेज ऑफ द स्पीकर इन आवर ओन वर्ड्स without changing any meaning so the previous sentence maya said i'm busy now will become maya said that she was busy then now let us understand the direct and indirect rules with examples and for all tenses so that you can apply them correctly without making any mistakes now first let us consider the rules for converting direct into indirect speech to change a sentence of direct speech into indirect speech there are various factors that are considered such as reporting verbs modals time place pronouns tenses etc we will discuss each of these factors one by one so we are coming to the first rule which is about the reporting verb when the reporting verb of direct speech is in the past tense then all the present tenses are changed to the corresponding past tense in indirect speech for example she said i am happy in indirect speech it will become she said that she was happy in indirect speech tenses do not change if the words used within the quotes talk of a habitual action or universal truth for example he said we cannot live without air so this is the case of a universal truth so we will not change the tense of the reporting verb over here so in indirect speech the answer would be he said that we cannot live without air the tenses of direct speech do not change if the reporting verb is in the future tense or present tense for example she says or she will say i am going in indirect speech it will remain she says or she will say that she is going now we are coming to the second rule which is about the present tense present perfect tense changes to past perfect tense for example i have been to boston she told me it will become she told me that she had been to boston in indirect speech present continuous tense changes to past continuous for example i am playing the guitar she explained in indirect speech it will become she explained that she was playing the guitar present perfect tense changes to past perfect for example he said she has finished her homework in indirect speech it will become he said that she had finished her homework lastly simple present tense changes to simple past for example i am unwell she said in indirect speech it will become she said that she was unwell now we are coming to the third rule which is about the past tense and the future tense simple past tense changes to past perfect for example she said ervin arrived on sunday in indirect speech it will become she said that ervin had arrived on sunday past continuous tense changes to past perfect continuous for example we were playing basketball they told me in indirect it will become they told me that they had been playing basketball future tense changes to present conditional for example she said i will be in scotland tomorrow it will become she said that she would be in scotland the next day so here in indirect speech tomorrow becomes the next day or the following day future continuous tense changes to conditional continuous for example he said i will be disposing of the old computer next tuesday 
So in indirect it will become he said that he would be disposing of the old computer the following Tuesday. Now we are coming to the fourth rule which is about the interrogative sentences. No conjunction is used if a sentence in direct speech begins with a question such as what, where or when as the question what itself acts as a joining clause. For example, where do you live? asked the boy. In indirect speech it will become the boy inquired where I lived. Here the question word where has become the joining clause in indirect speech. If a direct speech sentence begins with an auxiliary verb or helping verb, the joining clause should be if or whether. For example, she said, will you come for the party? In indirect speech, it will become, she said whether we would come for the party. Here, in this indirect speech, you can also write, she asked if we would come for the party. Reporting verbs such as said or said to changes to inquired, asked or demanded. For example, he said to me, what are you wearing? In indirect speech, it will become, he asked me what I was wearing. Now the fifth rule is about the changes in modals. While changing direct speech to indirect speech, the modals used in the sentences change like can becomes could, may becomes might, must becomes had to or would have to. For example, she said she can dance. In indirect, it will become she said that she could dance. She said I may buy a dress. In indirect speech, it will become she said that she might buy a dress. Rama said, I must complete the assignment. In indirect speech, it will become, Rama said that he had to complete the assignment. Students note that there are models that do not change, such as could, would, should, might and ought to. For example, she said, I should clean the house. In indirect speech, it will remain unchanged. So the answer will be, she said that she should clean the house. Now we are coming to the sixth rule, which is about the pronouns. The first person in direct speech changes as per the subject of the speech. For example, he said, I am in class 12th. In indirect speech, it will become, he says that he was in class 12th. The second person of direct speech changes as per the object of reporting speech. For example, she says to them, you have done your work. In indirect speech, it will become, she tells them that they have done their work. The third person of direct speech doesn't change. For example, he says she dances well. In indirect speech, it will become, he says that she dances well. Now we are coming to the seventh rule which is about request, command, wish or exclamation. Indirect speech is supported by some verbs like requested, ordered, suggested and advised. Note that forbid and forbid is used for negative sentences. Therefore, the imperative mood in the direct speech changes into the infinitive in indirect speech. For example, she said to her, please complete it. In indirect speech, it will become, she requested her to complete it. So here we are introducing the infinitive to. Next, Hamid said to Ramid, sit down. So in indirect speech, it will become, Hamid ordered Ramid to sit down. In exclamatory sentences that expresses grief, sorrow, happiness, a plot, interjections are removed and the sentence is changed to an assertive sentence. For example, she said, alas, I am undone. In indirect
direct speech we have to write she exclaimed sadly that she was broke now we are coming to the eighth rule which is about the punctuations in direct speech the words actually spoken should be in quotes and always begin with a capital letter for example she said comma open inverted comma i am the best full stop inverted comma closed full stop comma exclamation or question mark are placed inside the closing inverted commas as you can see the example they asked comma open inverted comma can we sing with you the question mark is placed inside the closing inverted commas if direct speech comes after the information about who is speaking a comma is used to introduce the speech placed before the first inverted comma for example he shouted shut up another example thinking back comma he said comma again inverted comma is opening within which it is written that she did not expect to win note that comma is used to separate the two direct speeches and no capital letter to begin the second sentence now we are coming to the ninth rule which is about the change of time in direct speeches the words that express nearness in time or place are changed to words that express distance in indirect speech for example now becomes then here becomes there ago becomes before thus becomes so today becomes that day tomorrow becomes the next day or the following day this becomes that yesterday becomes the day before these become those hither becomes thither come becomes go hence becomes thence next week or month becomes following week or month example he said his girlfriend came yesterday in indirect speech it will become he said that his girlfriend had come the day before here we see that yesterday is becoming the day before the time expression does not change if the reporting verb is in the present tense or future tense for example he says or he will say my girlfriend came yesterday in indirect speech also it will remain he says or he will say that his girlfriend had come the day before now let us move on to the rules of converting indirect speech into direct speech the following rules should be followed while converting an indirect speech to direct speech use the reporting verb such as say or say to in its correct tense you should put a comma before the statement and the first letter of the statement should be in capital letter you will have to insert question mark quotation marks exclamation mark and full stop based on the mood of the sentence you will have to remove the conjunctions like that to if or whether whenever it is necessary where the reporting verb is in the past tense in in indirect you will have to change it to present tense in the direct speech you will also have to change the past perfect tense either into present perfect tense or past tense as it is necessary for example she asked whether she was coming to the prom night so in direct speech we will have to write she said to her comma open inverted comma are you coming to the prom night question mark inverted comma closed the girl said that she was happy with her result in direct speech we have to write the girl said comma open inverted comma i am happy with the result full stop inverted comma closed students please jot down these rules in your rough copy and reread them so that you can understand better thank you om namah shivaya